Hey guys, what's up? This is Nick from RC Stereo. So today we got ourselves uh, our Retraxa Slash 4x4 Platinum Edition, and we got ourselves a stripped out screw. You can see right here. It's completely stripped out. So today I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. Alright guys, so what you're going to need is... Um, you need yourself a small, like the size that the screw is that's stripped out. You need yourself a flathead screwdriver, preferably a really skinny one like this. And then a size bigger um, hat and some super glue. So, guys, the um, easiest thing to do is try to get that part out and off the truck by removing screws around it. So like, here, where's my screws? There's some pliers. So you could pull this out like that. And then you could remove this screw and the suspension screw and it'll be really easy to work on this part um, once you get it off the truck because it's not gonna be so bulky. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take this off and it looks like that one's stripped up too nice. Yep, it is. So we're kind of screwed. We're going to have to work on it on the truck. So first thing you can do, here, let me move this down. So the first thing you can do, which shouldn't uh, tear your tools up too much, you can get yourself some uh, Loctite super glue and get the original size driver. Here, let me clean this off. So that excess super glue off. Alright. So you're gonna put a little dab of super glue on this and around. And then you're gonna put it in there. And then you're gonna wanna hold it in place. And you can put some excess glue around it. And I've got a lighter right here. I'm just going to use it to heat it up a little bit faster so it'll dry faster. But you don't want to put a flame on directly on to the super glue because it'll, um, it'll burn right off. So And you don't want to get it on the plastic either. So I'm just going to heat the driver up right here until it's all dry. And if it's too tight into this aluminum right here, then you're not going to be able to get it out But with the super glue, but we can try. All right, let's test this. Where's my pick? There it is. All right. All right, it's not dry yet. So let's heat it up a little bit longer. So it appears to be dry. So let's see if we can... Nope, it's in there too tight. The super glue just breaks loose. So we're going to have to go to the second option. So the second option, you get yourself um, a driver, it's a little bit bigger than the first one, than the original size, and a hammer. Obviously this is going to be a little more, um, going to do a little more damage to your tools. Um, I'd like to find one that is just a tiny bit bigger than this, not a whole size. I'm going to look around for a minute until I can find one. Alright guys, so I was not successful in finding one of those. So what we're going to try to do is get this size bigger one. And get your hammer and you're going to try to pound it in. And if you guys have stainless steel ones, this will be a little easier because it's not as, uh, it's not, uh, as solid as normal steel. So what we're going to try to do is pound this into there. So it's going to be a little loud. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that. If I could find a smaller size, we could be able to do that. But So the second option, oh, I mean the third option I never uh, told you guys about. You can get yourself a saw, saw, and you can cut along right here, sort of kind of like this. 
Um, and you can use a flathead screwdriver to pull it out. So that's what we're going to do next. So, try to get this in position. Alright guys, so I couldn't really get that on film because it's just kind of hard to film something like that when you're by yourself. So what I've done is I've cut a slit right in here um, on this screw. And here, let me grab a screwdriver. So let's try to do this. I may not have cut it deep enough. I may have to go back and cut it some more. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. One sec. Alright, I'm back. I've cut it a little bit deeper. So that's what it's going to look like. Obviously, you're not going to keep this screw once you get it out. You're going to have to try to find yourself a replacement screw. This screwdriver is too thick. So I'm going to grab maybe a small one. Get ourselves a snap on screwdriver a little bit thinner. Fits right in there. Now we're gonna try to Oh there we go. Broke loose. So that, guys, is how you remove um, a stripped-out screw on your RC. <clears throat> so the things we tried to do is, the first thing we tried was super glue. Um, and we tried to put that in the screw and then put our original hex into there and let it dry and open it up, which didn't work. And the second thing we tried is we tried to pound this bigger one into there and it worked better with stainless steel screws because they're not as hard, but that didn't work. So what we did, which is probably the best bet, your, your best bet, is we got a metal saw. Here, let me get an outer view on this. A metal saw like this. And we cut a slit into this thing like that, just like that, but when it's on the truck. So I cut it just like that, and then you get yourself a really skinny flathead screwdriver and you put it in there and then you just keep trying to work it until it pops open. Um, I'm going to have to do it to this one right here too because that one's stripped out too. But anyways, thanks for watching our videos. Our goal by the end of this year, by the end of 2018, is to have 100 subscribers. Um, so yeah, please like, subscribe, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.